I, I was approaching a crossroads of my life. I'd done lots of extracurricular stuff at again at university in, 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 in choir and operettas, in volunteering with special needs kids, uh, in foster homes. So I was starting to build um, a musical connection with children at that, at that point. Um, and then my, my sister Susie, who was a Down syndrome child, as I said, she passed away in the early 70s, you know, after I graduated. And my dad, uh, my dad was alcoholic and he was a heavy smoker and, uh, and, and he, he did not have the, the personal strength to sort of continue in his life. So he passed away in uh, a year after my sister. So that was, you know, my, my major mortality check was what am I going to do with my life now? I, again, I don't want to be an economist, but I had the foresight to, to look into my self, look into my life at that point. And the only things that I had done that gave me any kind of personal bliss were music. And, uh, and performing, and I, I was pretty good at guitar at that point. So uh, I went to a, a local bar called the, uh, the Balmoral Hotel, and their, their, their performing space in their lounge was called the Can Can Lounge. So I, I went to, I, I don't, why did I do that? I don't know, somebody must have suggested it. Uh, but I went there, I auditioned for the manager. He said, great, when can you, when can you play? Oh whenever you'd like. So I did a Thursday, Friday, Saturday night at the Can Can Lounge, the Balmore Hotel for 25 bucks a night, $75. Hey, I'm on my way. <laughs> and, that, and that was, I mean, that was a, that was a beginning. And then uh, I never turned back. I, I, I had many musical friends. We put things together. We do performing. I travel a bit. It would just start that whole ball started rolling. 